is in three foods. The first one, you confess your sins to God, you renounce your sins, and then the casting out of the Spirit. Because you need to first go to God and all the sins you have committed, which has given legal right for Spirit to come into you, you confess them. And even the sins of your ancestors, you confess them to God. Lord, I'm sorry. He now forgives you. Now when he has forgiven you, now you go and renounce the devil. That Satan have nothing to do with you. You spirits from my mother's family or this thing, I renounce you, I denounce you, I break covenant with you. Now when you've disconnected yourself, now you cannot tell the spirit, leave me. Because some people, if you tell the spirit, leave, go. They will tell you I will not go. Why? Because they have legal grounds. Why? If you don't, if you jump straight to the deliverance of casting out, you know, because he just committed fornication, he has anger, he has jealousy, he has this, and this is what feeds the demons. No, his father gave us to, give him to me. I'm not going. So we have to take the legal rights, and these are the sins committed against us or by yourself. So you need forgiveness and be washed by the blood. And then when you tell the spirit. You can tell them, you have no more right because I've confessed my sins. The blood has washed me. I'm a new person. So why do you have to know? Now leave in Jesus' name. And then you realize that you begin. Now when you pray, because when people are, oh, I'm praying, I'm fasting, I don't see any. Because you are telling somebody to leave you, but you are legally married to the spirit. It doesn't matter how a wife or a husband see, throws their wife out. If they are still legally married, if anything should happen, they are still going to tell the person you are responsible for your wife because marital certificate says that you are married. Until you divorce the person, you cannot throw them out. Do you understand? So until in the same way, you divorce yourself from the devil and his agent and his um, societies and anything you'll be involved with, when you bind them, you cast them out, they will come back. You cast them out, they come back. Because you have been break covenant. And covenant is what keeps people in bondage. Amen. Amen. Just come on in. Come to your um your, come and stand here. Say this after me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and decree that today is my day of deliverance. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare you as my Lord and my Savior. Lord Jesus, I declare you as my Lord, my Savior, my Master, my Deliverer. Lord Jesus, you are my Savior. I dedicate my body, dedicate my soul, dedicate my spirit unto you. I belong to you. I give my body, my soul, and spirit to you. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I come to you and repent of all my sins. For your word says, if I confess my sins, you are faithful and just to forgive me and to cleanse me from all my unrighteousness. Heavenly Father, to you belong mercy and forgiveness. So I come to you. Have mercy on me and forgive me. Cleanse me. Purify me. Wash me. Sanctify me, purge me with the blood of Jesus. Me. The blood of Jesus. I confess all my sins. Those I know, those I, I have done knowingly and unknowingly, I confess all of them to you. Let the blood of Jesus wash me, cleanse me, and purify me in Jesus' name. Amen. So now you're going to take this list, go through it, and talk to God, and repent of all the sins you have been involved in, and ask the Lord, forgive me, wash me the blood, forgive me. So you mentioned this, 
Lord, forgive me. Wash me the blood. Cleanse me. I'm sorry. You mention all your sins, whatever you remember, and ask the Lord to wash you, cleanse you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Do that. You can go and please just make sure you are talking to God. When you are done, come back and stand there. You are talking to God. Ask Him to forgive you and wash you and cleanse you with the precious blood of Jesus. Confess your sins and you will receive mercy from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for your forgiveness. We ask for your forgiveness. Create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. Anything in us that doesn't glorify you, Lord, we ask you to forgive us, to wash us, to cleanse us, to purify us, to make us whole in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy. 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 To you belong mercy. Confess all your sins. Ask the Lord to wash you. Ask the Lord to cleanse you. Ask the Lord to purify you, to sanctify you with the blood of Jesus Christ. There's power in the blood. The blood can make you whole. It doesn't matter what you've done. The Lord Jesus Christ is here to forgive you and to cleanse you and to purify you and to wash you. Today, receive mercy. Receive mercy. Receive mercy. Let the Lord God Almighty know all your sins. Be transparent before God. There's nothing you and I have done that he does not know. The blood of Jesus Christ will forgive you for the things you confess. Anything you hide, you will not receive mercy. Today, confess, confess, confess all your sins. Confess all your sins and ask the Lord to show you mercy. Ask the Lord to show you pardon. Ask the Lord to cleanse you and create in you a clean heart, a new and right spirit, and help you to walk in uprightness, in holiness, in righteousness, in purity of heart. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Rabba Sika Taka let the power in the blood forgive us. Let the power in the blood wash us. Father, let the cleansing power in the blood of Jesus Christ wash us from all our unrighteousness. Anything in us that doesn't glorify you, anything in us that doesn't glorify you, Lord, take it away from us. Purify us, sanctify us in the name of Jesus. There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. There's forgiveness in the blood. We receive mercy. We receive mercy from you, Lord. For your voices that come, let's reason together. If your sins be as red as scarlet, it shall be made as white as snow. Father, the voices that anyone who confesses his sins will receive mercy. Oh Lord, show us your mercy. Forgive us, cleanse us, purify us, sanctify us, cleanse us, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Be washed tonight. Be washed, be washed by the blood. Be washed by the blood, be cleansed by the blood, be purged by the blood. Receive, receive, receive forgiveness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Let the blood of Jesus Christ forgive you from all sexual lust, sexual perversion, sexual immorality, uncleanliness. Just repent of them. Every lust, every perversion, every immorality, every uncleanliness, every impurity every fornication you have committed, every adultery, every homosexuality, every masturbation, every pornography, every abortion, every idolatry, all sexual sins, repent of them and may the Lord God Almighty forgive you even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Repent of all ungodly soul ties, every sex you've had with people, repent of them and may the Lord break the ungodly soul ties even in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone you have had sex with, outside of marriage before marriage may the lord forgive you of all these sins may the lord forgive you of this of anger resentment hatred revenge bitterness retaliation unforgiveness towards people who have offended you people who have taken advantage of you abused you or hurt you may the lord forgive you of holding grudges and holding anger bitterness and hatred against them for the bible says that anyone who hates his brother or sister is a murderer may the lord forgive us and wash you that you repent of your sins. May the Lord also forgive you from all drug addictions, alcoholism, nicotine, gambling, pornography, crack cocaine, heroin, prescription drugs, impulsive spending, cigarette, demonic movies, yoga, demonic books, reading demonic books and listening to unclean or carnal ungodly songs. 
which contaminate your body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord forgive you of your pride, arrogance, rebellions, rebellion, the spirit of disobedience, the spirit of vanity, ego, haughtiness. May the Lord forgive you of all these sins. You are cleansing, telling the Lord to forgive you and to wash you with the blood of Christ. Ask the Lord to forgive you from all selfishness, self-promotion, all self-centeredness, all self-hatred, self-will, self-rejection. May the Lord forgive you. May the Lord forgive you from all the sins of making covenant, oath, pact, vows with any um, de demons or any um, witchcraft or demonic activities or demonic societies. Every evil covenant which has been made by you or your parents or your grandparents on your behalf, may the Lord forgive you of all these sins in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord forgive you from all traditional practices. As we pray, you just confess, remember all your sins and ask the Lord to forgive you. Anything you do not you don't confess, the devil will use it against you. He he wants a legal ground, he wants a legal right, something you do which you don't confess, so that he can use it to hold you in bondage. So make sure you make sure, make sure you confess all your sins to God and ask the Lord to forgive you and show you mercy and wash you with the blood of Christ. Every traditional practices, ungodly traditional practices such as piercing, body piercing, tattoo evil rituals that invoke demonic spirit or the spirit of the dead people who honor and invoke dead relatives evil incantation initiation pouring of libation lighting of incense and candles and invoking spirit drinking of holy water body incisions lighting of candles and evil rituals if you have been involved in all these things repent and tell the lord to forgive you Every fraternity and sorority, Alpha, Kappa, Phi, all those things, people get themselves involved in with when they are in college. You have made a covenant with the devil and you need to repent of belong, um, making covenant and joining fraternities and sororities and also joining the Freemason Society or Illuminati. Every ungodly societies you have joined, you have made a covenant with the devil. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Ask the Lord to forgive you of Kabbalah, Hinduism, all false religions such as Kabbalah, Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, Baha'i, Mormonism, Hare Krishna, Unitarianism, Jehovah Witness, Christian Science, Scientology, Reincarnation, Rescrucianism, Marxism, Freemasonism, Freemasonry, Confucianism, Metaphysics, Catholic, Cat Catholicism, that is the worship of um, in, uh, Mary and other saints. They are all ungodly, demonic. The worship of European art gods, such as artists of Phagia, Mitra of Persia, Dino Dionysus of Greece, and the Church of Satan. You have to renounce all if you have been involved in all these things. And those of you from Africa, the worship of idols, scars of the dead ancestors.